Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a review. It's not really first impression because I've used this quite a few times and kind of my thoughts on the toasted tartlet palette and do you need it? So I, you're going to see me add the, add the colors to my eyes and I really do like the colors in this palette. They're very pretty. So I've used basically all the colors at one point or another over the past couple weeks. We've got S'more, Sunrise Sunset, Crackle, Cashmere, Warmth, Flame, Cozy, Candle, Latte, Simmer, and Fireside. So I've used all of them. The only color that I can say is kind of a disappointment is this one up here called Crackle. So it's got some nice shimmer in the brown, but the brown stays on your eyes and the shimmer ends up on your cheeks. There is no greenish uh, gold shimmer that ends up on your eye. Maybe if you use the uh, Fix Plus, but I don't believe that if a, a color is in its pan, you should not have to use Fix Plus. You shouldn't have to wet your brush. It should perform like it looks in the pan. That's my, that's my opinion. Now, if you look down here in this color cozy, I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but Crackle is falling into cozy. So that kind of, even in the pan, lets you know that that color or the glitter does not stay. Um, you can see my palette is definitely looks like it is worn. I have used it a lot just because I wanted to see how does it work, you know, compared to the Urban Decay Heat or the Naked... No, the Balms palette, Nude Beach. And to be honest with you, um, it is really no different than the Balms Nude Beach or Urban Decay's uh, Naked Heat. So the bad thing about the Toasted Tartlet is they did show the pictures of it, you know, kind of promoting this product, but the bad part was it didn't come out until after Urban Decay and the Balm. And so it's kind of interesting. Urban Decay hit the the market, hit it hard, and everyone had to have that palette. Everyone, I say everyone, except for a few people. But um, so anyways, the palette hits the marketplace. It saturates the marketplace. The Balm comes out not maybe at the same time, but they just don't have the marketing presence that Urban Decay has. So the new beach palette kind of gets swept up underneath the rug. Well, then it's, you know, it kind of settles down a bit. We've seen other products come out and then Toasted Tartlet or Tartlet Toasted comes out and it's like there's already been palettes ahead of time from this one and this one doesn't really add anything different than the other ones did. Maybe that's just my opinion. I'd like to hear your opinion, so add it below. But to be honest, if you have the Urban Decay or the Balm's Nude New Beach Palette, I don't know that you really need this one. If you didn't pick up those other two and you're a Tarte uh, lover and you've got to have everything Tarte, then I would say go ahead and pick this one up. But unfortunately, the timing on this one was just kind of poor. And I hate that for Tarte because I really do like their products, but if I was just a normal consumer, someone that isn't trying to play with these products and try them myself and see what's going on, I wouldn't purchase it. I wouldn't have purchased it because I would have already had the Urban Decay. So anyways, um, those are kind of my thoughts on the, the palette in general. The blendability is really good. I like the colors. Um, other than the crackled one, I really didn't. I, everything went on absolutely beautiful and just like it was in the pan, including this color candlelight. So I really like the fact that candlelight goes on exactly like it is in the pan. I did not wet my brush. I did not use Fix Plus or whatever people use to wet their brush. I didn't do that. So the fact that candlelight is this kind of bright, shimmery, beautiness, um, not because it's on my eye because it's a gorgeous color, but all joking aside, um, the, you know, it goes on absolutely amazing. And that's what I like about this palette is that the colors other than one 
really go on exactly like it does in the pan. They blend well that you can build them up. I, build up. I built up the brown on the outer corner, no problem. They don't look patchy. I'm just, I'm thrilled with the product in general. I just hate they miss that window of um, being on the market first. So anyways, if you wanna see how I got this eye look, Stay okay, tuned. so we're going to use the tartlet, toasted tartlet, tartlet toasted today. I've actually been testing this for a little while and I'm kind of, kind of sad for tart. I love tart. I am partial to tart because they always put out quality product. I think with this one, they miss the timing boat. So for instance, their um, Urban Decay came out with their heat palette first, I want to say. Then you had the Balm come out with their Nude Beach palette. And I want to say there may have been another one in between that I just didn't get. I could be wrong. So, you know, there was a lot of hype around the Urban Decay and for good reason. It was a great, or is a great palette. I still own it. This one just missed the boat, I think, in timing. I think if this one would have came out before Urban Decay, it would have had a lot better turnout. But I, I wouldn't say this is any different than the Urban Decay or the Balm. It's kind of a bummer. Um, timing wise for them. So I'm going to pick up the color warmth next on a semi flat brush. And as you can see, I didn't tap my brush, but they're uber pigmented. Next, we're going to go in with this color called Cozy. Finally getting cozy in Dallas. Okay, so this is kind of my first official fall here. And it is crazy. Like, I'm still in t-shirts and shorts for the most part when I get home. And I'm just not used to this kind of weather for fall. So I feel like all my sweaters and all my scarves are for naught. It, it's absolutely bummed me out that, and it's just crazy, the weather here. It's fall, I should be cold, like not in t-shirts and shorts. All right, next we're gonna take the color Fireside. And these do have some fallout, so I am kind of tapping the brush to get off some of that fallout. fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that so we can kind of more build it up instead of having a patch. All right, we're going to do a little carve out. I'm using the soft ochre paint pot. Okay, now that that is carved out, I'm going to use this pretty color here called candle. this really kind of nice light brush for Morphe. It's an M562 and I'm going to pick up the color Crackle. Now the Crackle is disappointing. So you may see some glitter in here and it's kind of like a green glitter with the brown. And to be honest with you, you're not going to get that or maybe it's a gold, greenish gold. You're not going to get that color that pops through like the pan. So that one is a little disappointing. So now I'm going to kind of blend these two together. So yeah, I was all thrilled about that color crackle. And then when I went to apply it, I'm like, where's the shimmer? Where'd it go? 
it was there in the pan. Now I do like how pretty that went on. Again, I did not use a Fix Plus. I just used the um, painter or the ochre paint pot and that just gave a really nice color. So I will give props there because you, you didn't have to wet it. It drives me crazy when you have to wet things to get it look like at the pan. Just saying. All right, now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. When I used this eyeliner the other day, it didn't travel in my fine creases. So Sabrina, I didn't mean to lie about this one. It just didn't travel the other day and it's traveling. Story of my life. As soon as I say something goes good. Nope. I will say this tiny brush is awesome to use as long as it's not flared. Like it'll pull apart in some spots. So you just kind of have to use the edge of this to kind of, and I don't know if you can see how it's kind of separated. So if you kind of push it against the edge, you can get it to kind of come back together as one little brush. Okay, this is getting in my waterline. Sabrina, I swear to God, it didn't do this the other day. But it does do a precise tip. Since that eyeliner traveled, I'm gonna pick up the paint pot again. Kind of fix where the eyeliner traveled, which is a bummer, because I was in love with that eyeliner. And I just ordered other colors. Okay, so that cleaned it up a little bit. Then I'll pick back up the color candle. And we have our patch down. We are going to pick up a flat brush here. And I'm going to go in with the color Fireside again. It does have a lot of glitter fallout, so you saw me kind of try to sweep some away. Seems like the glitter's having a better time staying on my cheeks. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take kind of that flat, fluffy brush and the color Warmth, and we're gonna stick this right on the bottom. For the inner waterline, I'm gonna use Marc Jacobs. This color is in. Brownie, you think I'd have these colors memorized by now. And we're going to just apply mascara today. I'm not going to do falsies. So I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs. This is in Velvet Noir. I'm going to use the Morphe color Sweet Tea. Surprise, these Morphe pencils I've never used before. I kind of like them. Where have they been my whole life? Okay, that was not the color I was hoping it was going to be. So this was Doll Face. Okay, this color was the Sex on the Peach. And then we're going to take some Lancome Mirrored Nude. And that completes this look. So I'll thank you so much for watching today as I used the Tartlet Toasted Palette. Absolutely really like this palette. I just hate that it came out so late. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please add those below. I love interacting with the YouTube audience. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.